Robert Hobson and I've been with the business just short of nine years. So I finished my GCSEs not necessarily knowing what I wanted to do. I'm initially going down the route of marketing and web development. However, my dad advised that I should check out the AMRC and specifically AES seal for a, a level three BTEC in manufacturing. I came into the bearing protection workshop as a CNC machinist, which meant I was here for four days a week, whilst one day at uh, college. Post that, I then progressed on to my HNC at um, Rotherham College, which then took me into the test house to be a test engineer. After my time in the test house, I returned back to manufacturing in our mass production mill close workshop. To a further three years there, I realised I'd like to progress into a different form of engineering, specifically mechanical. Therefore, an opportunity came up to be an application engineer, which I gratefully accepted, working with the, the global function, supplying engineered products. After five years within that team, I had the, the privilege to progress to be technical manager, uh, where I have been for the past nine months. I selected the engineering pathway as it was a vocation that enabled me to operate in multi facets of the business such as commercial accounts, quality assurance, uh, marketing etc etc because as an engineer you make decisions based on facts and taking ownership of a, a situation. So since starting at AES Seal I've been put on multiple courses uh, in-house and external to AES Seal so specifically I've been at the AMRC to do my level 3 BTEC, Rotherham College to do my HNC HND and then Sheffield Hallam to do my top up onto a part-time bachelor's in mechanical engineering. Whilst in-house, I've had a variety of training in terms of emotional intelligence, uh, leadership and management training, but likewise it's the, the people you work with and the experience that can be shared from people who've been working in the business for 25, 30, 40 years. No matter the environment I'm in, I'm always surrounded by that level of experience that I can tap into and ensure I'm creating the, the necessary solution for the problem. Where I see myself going in the, the next five years, if the opportunity came up, I'd like to progress to be the, the technical director. To so anyone that has the, the privilege of joining the AES team, the best advice I can give is any opportunity that does arise, take it, because that's the best way that you get a level of exposure to various departments, various problems, various situations that you then can build up your experience to build your own career and build your own level of progression.